All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such. And today we are going to be doing an overview and testing of a Kida B5 conventional pole station. This is a pole station I've wanted for a while, so I think they're cool. And I finally, finally found one for a good price that was in pretty good condition. So we're just going to kind of go around it. My particular one does have some overpaint and a little bit of overspray, but nothing major. Everything still works on it. Everything's in pretty good condition. Just kind of a basic... It's kind of basic, really. Uh, so the way that you uh, actuate this alarm is you lift the tab and then you pull down on it. And it is a tool reset with a hex wrench. Anytime I pull it, I do have my silent night panel and walk test. So the alarms will sound for about five seconds and then it'll reset on its own. Um, so we will actually take a look on the inside first. Disable the zone real quick. And so we'll open it up. The way that you open it up is there's this screw underneath. You take your hex wrench and you just kind of unscrew it and it will open. So here's what the inside looks like here. Pretty simple button. Uh, it's just screw terminals on the back. There's really nothing special in the back. I'm not going to take it off the wall. Um, but yeah, it's just a button. You see this is a Kita Model B5, the manufacturing date is on the back. If I'm remembering correctly, it's sometime in 85, but not positive. Uh, under here, I don't really know what these are, uh, but I'm just going to leave them under this really old masking tape. There's three little, uh, little tiny cardboard tubes, and I don't know what they're for. If you know what they're for, please Please tell me, because I'm very intrigued that they were left and tucked in this pole station with um, a little bit of tape on it. So if you know what those are, tell me, please. I'm very interested to know. So yeah, really not a whole lot going on on the inside. So then to close it, you just close the front face, and then you screw the screw back in until you can't turn it anymore. So we'll go ahead and re-enable that zone so we can actually not get to pulling it. So to pull it, you lift and you pull down. And then to reset, you just put your tool in, you unscrew it until it pops and the handle will go right back up. And then you just close until it doesn't turn anymore. And then if you want to tool test it, you literally just turn your tool and it will click. Alarms are sound and you'll close it right back up. I like this pulsation. It's one I've had my eye on for a while and I've finally been able to get one for a good price. It feels really nice to pull. Um, it's a very solid, like, like you really know you're pulling it down. It's pretty much an all metal construction minus this little plastic lift plate. Um, there's really not a whole lot else that can be said about it. Back is just basic uh, flathead screw terminals on the back of a on the back of the button switch. Um, yeah, it's a pole station. It's by Kita. It's a Kita Model B5. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching. And as always, have a wonderful day.